Look cuter for the camera. What? Look cuter for the camera. How? Yeah. It's only been four days since we put this up, but this is not looking very good anymore. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna get rid of it. Please comment what you think about her headband. <laughs> she thinks it looks weird. I think it looks so weird. She was like, does it make my forehead look big? I said, it covers your entire forehead. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of sample sales in New York that are for fashion, clothing, and things like that but we're going to a plant sample sale today and it's for the sale. The sale Good. is having a sale. <laughs> Dad jokes. Dad joke. Dad joke or bad joke? Dad joke is not a bad joke. They're pretty much out of like all the small plants, so there's two types of big plants left. There's like some cute stuff, some planters and things like that. Maybe we'll pick one up, but yeah. We didn't get anything at the sample sale, but look at everything. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> look at what they have at Home Depot. A lot of people recommended jade plants. Peperomia, Optosifiopol. So many jade plants. Ficus. I really wanted a jade plant because so many people recommended it, but I couldn't find it at Home Depot. I don't know if there was a separate section for like succulent, but I just, there was no jade plant. So I might try to find it at a local spot in Brooklyn or maybe just order it online. Jade plant to come soon. do a little bit of cleaning and decluttering of my MacBook because I use this MacBook for my editing so I usually have just a ton of random files on my Mac and I am going to run this software called Clean My Mac and they are sponsoring this video so thank you to Clean My Mac. I've been using them for a while now and it's truly one of the best things that I could have installed to help optimize and declutter my MacBook. It has a lot of different features that can help you with your MacBook including Smart Scan which does a full scan of your desktop and removes any unused files and junk. It addresses potential security threats and also helps to increase just the speed of your system. It also has Space Lens, which helps you find and remove old and unused files. On top of that, Clean My Mac has other features like uninstaller and updater. I actually found Clean My Mac last year when I first started using Setup, which tangentially is also a great tool for your MacBook. Clean My Mac has also been on the market for 14 years now and it is notarized by Apple. So if you do want to try it out for yourself, I'll have my personalized link down below and you can get a free seven day trial or a special discount if you do plan to buy Clean My Mac. James is in his little sewing corner. <laughs> Hi. 
<laughs> I did want to give you guys a little bit of an update on the plants. Because some people asked me in a few videos ago when I propagated my pothos. They wanted to see how it's looking. This is the pothos. And also my green onions, which are looking a little bit dead. Okay, but yeah, here is the pothos. So at some point, it's just going to turn into a huge jar of roots. I could technically plant this now in soil, but I'm just going to leave it there for a little bit longer because I have way too many pothos hanging around the apartment. I also wanted to show you guys my avocado tree, which I posted on my Instagram and it's I got a few questions about how I did this. This is basically the avocado pit and it's now formed into a tiny tree. And it's gonna get bigger eventually, but this is only like a month and a half or two months of growth. This is like a fun little hobby I have now, but any sort of rooted vegetable or seeds that I get a hold of, I've been starting to plant. So this is garlic. These are pomegranate seeds. I have this, which I don't remember what seeds I put in here, but I did put seeds in here. <laughs> Behind the scallions, I have a mango seed. I think something is forming here, but I don't know for sure. And since we're doing this kind of tour, I have some random seeds here. I think orange seeds and Korean pear seeds. And I started labeling my seeds that I don't plant immediately. Touch it. <laughs> wow. I need to have the top while you're sleeping. Are you mostly done now? Pretty much. A little climbing bag. Chalk bag. Chalk bag, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the cliff bar. Cliff bar, plastic wrap. Wow. That's so pretty. Wow. This is so pretty. Uh, print uh, Sarah S A R A H and last name is Pan P A N. Oh, awesome! Thank you. Oh, well, we should brought a tote bag, huh? Right. Yeah, we should. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Print secured. Boyfriend secured. Print secured and prints secured because I'm out. Of oh my god. Thank you. I'm gonna go through the prints with you guys. I got a little excited and I already framed some of them. I'm very, very happy with these prints because posters are really, really expensive. We have really high ceilings, so I wanted to just fit a ton of posters on our wall and build out a gallery wall. And once I started looking for posters, I realized a poster of this size is like $20, $30. So I did the FedEx hack which is basically going on Etsy, purchasing digital prints, which are like a couple of dollars, two to five dollars each, and then printing it at FedEx for a dollar. I think in total this costs like $25 and we got a pretty good number of posters. So I'm gonna go through the ones I already put into frames, but this one is my favorite. Apparently this triggers hypophobia. 
fear of holes and I don't know. <laughs> okay. That's what talking to a camera is. This one is James's favorite poster, um, cause he likes, cause he likes. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to. <laughs> cause he likes Kendrick Lamar. This one we just thought was cute. This one is one of my favorite ones. It's a set of three frogs. This one's just to add a little bit of color. Another famous painting by Matisse. And then we got these frames from Amazon for like $20 for a pack of five. We only have three left, so I'm gonna put three of these into frames and then the rest, I will have to order more frames so that we can put everything on the gallery wall. But this is very exciting because I feel like the apartment is evolving and it's not just completely bare and empty. Set of posters. We still have these that are missing frames, but that will come at a later time. And I kind of want to mount these. 